Alrighty guys, welcome back. So today guys, we're currently back out here on Offered Outlaws once again, as you guys can see here. Now for today's Offered Outlaws video guys, I went ahead and built me a little OBS, little red OBS drift truck here. Now this one here has a gas engine in it. Our previous drift truck here is a built Cummins um, and has the grip all the way upgraded. We were having some troubles drifting this thing. Turns out grip is maxed out. So we went ahead and did this build here today. Got the nice little fancy hood stacks and the dual light bars and whatnot. But this one here, the grip isn't even upgraded at all. So pretty convenient. All right, all right. So now, and by the way, guys, I'm just going to run through the build real quick. But the point of today's video is, is we're going to try to drift this thing, see if grip has anything to do with it. Now I'm assuming it does. So now that it doesn't have grip, it should slide a whole lot easier than our Duramax, not Duramax, our Cummins uh drift truck here with the grip all the way upgraded so with that being said guys let's just go ahead and hop into uh the build here just real quick completely maxed out everything else does have a blower on it obviously um you guys can see the custom the custom the visual customization here does have a toolbox dual uh, led light bars and a blower as well as uh yeah dual hood stacks so and the dual light bars and the black rims, as you guys can see here, and I made sure to keep the uh, the stock tires here because if you guys didn't already know, they do have the worst grip on the asphalt. So I figured I'd stick with those. Suspension tuning, you guys can get an idea. Just, just lower it just a little bit lower than stock height. Make your wheels real wide, stick them out pretty far. And uh, it's also Solid Axle Pro Heavy Duty front and rear as well. All right, so now let's hop into some drifting. So the map we're going to be drifting on here today it's going to be right here, Twin Rivers Lake. So we're going to hop right into that. Um, go up that four-lane road that you guys know and love from the from the new 2022 Duramax drift truck I built as well as the little uh, third-gen Shorty Cummins drift truck we built. So now that this one doesn't have grip upgrade, we're just going to test it. It's a gas engine with no grip better at drifting than the built dirt uh, Cummins. Excuse me, built Cummins. Oh, uh, and what's my game doing? Okay, that was a little bit strange. But anyways, better than the built uh, Cummins with uh, the grip completely maxed out. So yeah, catch you guys once I hit the asphalt. We can do some test drifts with this thing. Alright guys, we are on the asphalt now. Just going to shift through the gears here, find some corners to slide, and we're going to see what we can do with this thing. So we're going to go up over this bridge here. Now since the truck's low, it'll probably... Okay, so we already know... The grip is not the best, obviously, but that's that's good. But it kind of just slid off the road when we needed to go up the road. But anyways, I was saying since the truck sits a little, it'll probably scrape and bounce us over this this bridge and send us flying. So I don't want that to happen. I just kind of want to cruise on up. Maybe slide this corner. I don't know. It's a little bit risky. All right. We got it. We got it. There we go. Get a little bit of sliding in there. Make sure you keep it in rear-wheel drive. Going to get a couple of good little slides going on there. But this one we're going to go really wide at. And, well, I'll just whip out the back end for a second. All right, let's try this drift here. That was a pretty good slide, and it just uh, hooked right back up right after. All right, going to come wide at the wall, slide it for a little bit, keep going. A little bit of a good slide there going on. Almost just uh, continuously dri drifted that corner right there, slid it. I'm going to try this one here. All right, that was, I mean, these are pretty good drifts. A little bit of a slide right there. And I corrected it. All right, just a little bit of a slide there. I'm still getting better at learning this truck, how to drift it, just because it does drift a little bit funny. But see, that one kind of right there, instead of sliding me off into the other angle, ah, the other direction I meant, that would have been a clean slide too right there. All right, we're going to slide back. See, I just I got to get a little bit farther. Then I could have slid perfectly and gone straight right up that ramp there. Alright, we're going to downshift. Alright, slid right there. Gosh. This thing is attracted to guardrails. I think second gear is just perfect for drifting, in my opinion. Alright, we're going to slide one more corner here. And also end up into a guardrail. So, there's just something about this truck that I'm just not very good at drifting it. But hang on, let's go up a little bit wider. 
See, I couldn't make it to the end of the road before I slid, so I'm going to go ahead and switch off into the uh, the Cummins here, because I'm not having very much luck drifting this thing, but the idea is there. Definitely does slide out that back end pretty easily, but you just cannot save it to save your life. It's it's very tricky, because it wants to overturn and send you into a guardrail every time. But we're going to revisit this truck here soon, and... We're going to get the drifting down. I'll make a whole compilation of me just sliding corners very clean. We're going to do that. But let's just get a couple runs with this. I mean, we already made a video on this truck and the build and then the drift run with it. But I just figured we'd hop in it again, get a couple of good slides with it, and just compare it to the other one. Now, by experience, since I already have used this white Cummins here drift truck, the red OBS is definitely a lot better. I don't know if it's because it's a gas engine or if it's probably because the grip is not upgraded at all. But however with this one the grip is all the way upgraded but it still slides pretty good only in four wheel drive though. Same with the Duramax, the blacked out that blacked out Duramax drift truck. Maybe we should swap the OBS to a diesel. This thing seems just a little bit more rowdy just because it's a diesel. Not too sure though. And hang on let me just show you guys. I mean, it wants to drift corners on the dirt, but not very well. But on this one, I know I'm not making. Yeah, it's just it doesn't have much of a turn radius unless you slide that rear end out. That's why you got to make your wheels and tires wide, and it'll slide it out a whole lot easier. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to put it into four-wheel drive, and I'll catch you guys once I'm at the, uh, the four lanes. And we'll get a couple of test drifts going on in this thing. and I'll show you guys the difference. Also... This thing is way quicker. Alright, we're going to try this one here. Get a little bit of a slide going there. Now this one, I'm a lot better at sliding just because I've done it a lot more in this thing. And also, it's just something about it. It's uh, it's really good at it. So overall, this is a better drift truck, but that other little red OBS is still in the makings. But I don't know if it's because there's no grip on it that it uh, just cannot give you little slides at all that you can't just correct like I'm doing right now like you cannot really correct many slides in that little thing or maybe it's because it's a gas engine not too sure but I mean we just got a couple of good slides there nothing too crazy but it's also up to you guys to let me know down below in the comments which one you guys think is the better drift truck so I'm gonna go ahead and build up some speed uh, for this next corner here alright now we're gonna try this Ooh, yeah, it came out a little bit too wide and did not succeed that turn there so we're gonna Continue up the road here a little bit. Ooh, all right. There you go. A little bit of slide right there. And we're just going to slide that. Yeah, could do better. Definitely could do better. Let's try this one here. See, there's also a, a sequence of downshifting at the same time that you want to slide. And I think it keeps it going a little bit longer. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and wreck into a guardrail right there. Pull in right here. And with that, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. That'll be it for today's video. And with that one, catch you guys very, very soon in the next one. Let me know down below in the comments which drift truck you guys think is better, the white commons here or the little red OBS. So let me know down below in the comments. And with that one, thanks for watching, guys. And with that, catch you guys very, very soon in the next one.